In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the default settings for Scribus so that you don't have to do that every time that you open a document. When you first open Scribus, you're going to see so a page that looks something like this. I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to open a new document yet. Instead, I want to go to File and then click on Preferences. And then we can start with General Preferences. And as you can see, these general references are places or language theme, <clears throat> which we probably don't want to play with. We've already select, set English when we install the Scribus. The default fonts for the menu and palettes are fine. You may want to change the documents path to be more specific to where you're going to store your documents, but I'm going to leave it as it is. So what I want to do is look at the document settings. Depending on which download site you used, the default settings could be European format A4. Since we're working in the United States, we want to make sure that the page size is set to letter which gives us our typical eight by eight and a half by 11. And we also want to make sure that the units is set to inches. Portrait as the orientation is also fine. So the, everything looks good here. So the next thing I want to look at are the margins. You probably want to set the margins to half an inch if they aren't already set to that. So you can just type in five after the, the um, period. And we set the right, the left, the top and the bottom margins all to half an inch. All right, then if we look at the printer margins, we see that they're all set to zero. That means that we'd be able to print if the printer supported it all the way out to the end of the page. So we don't need to worry about that at the moment. So we have everything basically here that we want to set up. So we just click on apply and we are done with this particular document settings. If we look at guides, again, you may want to play with some later on when we start looking at grids. I'm going to turn on show page grid and so that when I open a new document, the grid is going to automatically open. And again, I want to click on apply. Then we should also look at typography. There's really nothing here that we need to play with at the moment, but in the future, if you needed to, you might want to look at that. On the tools, you can set up your default font here. I'm going to leave it at Arial 12 point, but if you want to change your default font, this is the place that you would do it. So again, I have nothing to change here. If we look at some of the other tools, probably nothing really needs to change. We don't need to change anything under hyphenation and spelling. Fonts, we're just going to leave the default fonts here for now. And if we go to the printer setting, we can set up the default printer I'm going to keep this as Adobe PDF for my default since I probably would be creating mostly PDF files that I may subsequently print. So I have nothing to change here. If you scroll down, you see many other preferences that you could set, but um, I'm not going to worry about them right now, especially color management and 
uh, PDF export and things like that. Um, <clears throat> we can um, look at them later on perhaps if we need to. But anyway, we've done everything that we need to do to set our preferences for a new document. So we want to click on OK. And then I want to go back and open a new document. I click on New. I get the uh, image we saw before. Now, here we have single page or double sided, threefold, and fourfold. These are for trifold or quadrifold brochures that are printed on. They're intended to be folded so by separate columns. That's not the same as what we're going to be doing for our exercise. We're going to be using single columns or multiple columns on a single page. So we're going to keep the single page as the default. And what we want to do for this particular document, so we let that default and we click on OK. And you can see now that I have a document that is ready to be worked on with the grid already displayed. All right, I think that's enough for this video, so let's wrap it up, and I will see you in the next video when I go over a general way to introduce you to Scribus by producing a simple document.